Hello friends. Uh, in this video, I will show you how uh, NetApp Snap Restore work and how what is Snap Restore and how we can do Snap Restore in three ways from uh, NetApp CLI, from Windows GUI, and from Windows PowerShell. So, what is Snap Restore? Actually, Snap Restore is a software or command. Uh, to recover entire file system or uh, a particular specific file from snap restore command so uh, in this video I'll, uh, I'll do snap restore means restoring a file in three ways so most of us may be aware of but uh, this powershell is something different uh, you can learn powershell in this video also and uh, new tricks also so first of all we will go through with NetApp CLI. So I will show you all my CIFS shares. These all are my CIFS shares. So I will be working on share 1 in this video. So we have a share 1 on this volume on this path. So now I'll I'll open it from the uh, Windows. So I will go to Share One. Here, uh, let me create one file for a demo how Snap Restore command work. I will create a file uh, test Snap Restore. This is my file test Snap Restore. Uh, let me add some open it and add some byte into it let's see so this is our test snap restore file i'm gonna delete this file first and i will restore it from snap restore command uh, so before uh, proceeding with snap restore we need to check uh, do we have snapshot available and we should have a license of snap restore command also so i will show you my license which license is required from snap restore command this is this license is required for snap restore command so I will show you So this uh, this is required for snap restore command and now uh, I'm gonna restore it I'm gonna check it uh, whether we have snapshot available or not snap list and which volume uh, it is vol 1 a aggregate 1 so we have right now we have all these snapshot but uh, uh, let me take a fresh snapshot uh, for this activity snap create and I will give the uh, snapshot name uh, uh, snapshot name could be snap restore test one so this is our uh, snapshot name and uh, on which volume we need to create it it's on this volume snap create volume name and snapshot name here we go we have uh, we have uh, prepared our snapshot snap restore test one snapshot now just snap list it here we have this snapshot now uh, let me check uh, i'll show you this snapshot from windows also from here we can check uh, this snapshot is available or not this is from the windows side here we have this snapshot is available here and now uh, just uh, first of all in our first step i'm restoring it from netapp cli command so I'm gonna delete this 
file here I'm deleting it yes so this file is now deleted I'm refreshing it so we have we have lost suppose you have lost one file and now you want to restore it so in this uh, method I'm only restoring file you can restore any directory or complete volume also so we have command uh, I'm using one command I'll show you the command syntax also command is snap restore snap restore uh, type of snap restore is we are doing file uh, file level restoration here hyphen from which snapshot you want to restore your uh, file system I am using this snapshot because we have taken fresh snapshot for this activity and where you want to restore it uh, we have share on this volume so uh, I'm I want to restore the name of file should be test snap resto dot txt and we uh, this is the destination and uh, a source and uh, source is also same because we are restoring it on same location so our source and destination will be same in this activity okay I'm executing this command now so it, go, it will gonna ask you uh, uh, if, if the file we have already one file of this name so it will uh, overwrite this file so we don't have any file just we don't uh, we need to specify why in this activity okay now it will ask uh, uh, you have selected file this we are restoring this file from this snapshot to this location with file name with same file name so yeah, do you want to proceed with restore yes we want to proceed with restore so restoration is complete I will show you in the uh, windows restoration I am just refreshing it here so our file is back in this, we in this way we can restore it from snap restore command now uh, from in the next uh, uh, activity I am gonna restore it from windows GUI it's very easy uh, from windows GUI it's very easy uh, so it's uh, even uh, windows administrator can uh, do this recovery also this is basically for NetApp uh, storage administrator and these two basically for uh, any OS or desktop windows administrator even storage administrator can do it okay now we are going to this share again I'm uh, I'm uh, deleting this file okay. just refreshing it we don't have this file now now from the from here just go back and properties see the previous version so we have last previous version available is this this is our fresh snapshot so what you will do uh, you will check this uh, you will either copy it copy it here and you can restore it here so in this way you can restore it from uh, from windows GUI or either you can do in this way also and uh, I'm re de again deleting this file uh, just go to this path uh, with this uh, this sign symbol and snapshot this is approximate symbol and snapshot and here you will list out all your snapshots on this volume just open any one of snapshot this is the snapshot this is the file just copy it and again uh, open one more uh, file explorer this is refresh it do we have any file now paste it so uh, our activity is complete here so uh, this is done and this is also done now uh, 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 let us restore it from windows powershell okay now let us do it from windows powershell so just open powershell in your uh, windows 
uh, in in Windows, uh, we have a command called push location and pop location. These two are com these two commands are uh, to access uh, CAFS share and and to come out uh, from the CAFS share. So what is uh, again uh, we need to go to share one and just copy it and push location just paste it now you can see all the uh, share files and folders so we have already have snap restore here just remove it rm command with rm command you can remove it uh, just copy and paste it so now it is deleted so we don't have this file now now i'm gonna restore it from powershell side now just open one more powershell uh, prompt we already have opened here and in this prompt just go to path uh, just come out of this uh, location and just from the uh, windows we have this path available to us just copy it and now push location and this this is the path of snapshot okay now i'll set we have snap test snap restore available and we are gone we are uh, we will restore it so just uh, in windows powershell we use cp command cp snap test restore to which path we need to restore we need to restore it to share here we need to restore it here copy it paste it uh, with uh, I'm restoring it with uh, same name you can restore it with different name okay I will restore it with different name here to show you okay our uh, file name called test snap restore dot txt has been restored let me show you okay just just a second We have uh, received. We have uh, restored successfully. Restore our file. Test snap restore one. So thanks. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you like my video, please subscribe. Thanks. Have a nice day.